and welcome to All About the Bass. I'm Nathan, and you may know me from such bands as Cancelled, Sorry, Postponed until further notice, and uh, have you considered a different line of work? Um, today, Dingwall have sent uh, a very interesting thing for me to check out. So, shall we, uh, shall we have a look? Shall we open it and see what it is? I think we should. Look, I've got Danish Pete's trusty Stanley knife, or generic, it's not Stanley, is it? It's like OEM. Let's get to work. Quilted bag, look at that. Mmm. Who's in here then? Yes, please. What? Oh, yeah. Well, I never. Look at that. What, a, what an incredible finish. Well, as I said, this is a Dingwall. And it is an NG2, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I wonder what it sounds like. I should don my reading glasses. If you like these very stylish glasses, uh, they're available, uh, limited edition, they're from Pound Shop. Poundland, uh, they're a pound. So uh, I recommend these, very good. I've got hundreds of pairs, they're everywhere. Right, who knows what these controls do? I guess we'll find out, right? So, I guess that's active on and off. Pick up selector. Volume. Yeah. Well, of course, as we come to expect, it sounds very nice <coughs> because Dingle make very nice sounding basses. Let's have a look at the back. We've got some info on here. Nolly, Adam Nolly Get Good, NG signature model, Dingwall. Okay. Novak's fan fret system. Of course, lest we forget this amazing fan fret thing here, which is great. For if you like detuning a lot, it keeps that low string nice and tight. Uh, brilliant little innovation there for your active pickups. I love that little magnetic holder. Uh, 18 volt preamp, uh, which I would imagine is a dark glass because uh, that's kind of his thing. Uh, Adam Get Good has the dark glass preamp in his bases. Uh, this finish uh, is worth talking about. Now, these are limited edition, these bases. Why are they limited edition and how so? Are they really? Well, yeah, they are, actually, because each one is unique. Because they've been, uh, it's a, a, I don't know if it's a new technique, but it's, uh, this is the first time I've heard about it. It's called hydro dipping. Um, and if you want all the details, go on YouTube and just put in hydro dipping a guitar and you'll see how they do it. It's brilliant, it's a brilliant technique. Um, but it, basically, it, it means that every bass uh, or guitar that, that's finished like that uh, comes out with a completely unique pattern. So there is only one bass that looks like this. Huh? Uh, that's quite special. Um, and, you know, they're, they're, they're not um, massively expensive, these Dingwall basses. I think they're 18 um, You know, which these days isn't a lot of money for a really nice bass. It plays lovely, of course. We've looked at the NG2s before. 
Um, if you want to know a bit more about the spec, go back and check out some old, older shows. Um, but that just looks amazing. This one is in stock at Anderson's at the moment. Uh, check out the website and see what's around. Um, but this is, uh, yeah, that's, that's a beaut, eh? In pink, pink. And my daughter would love this. She really would. I'd be right up her street. Yeah, a beautiful thing. So there you go. There is your uh, Dingwall NG2 uh, limited edition uh, pink swirl. Um, yeah, that's it. All the info is on the Anderson's website. Go and check it out and it'll tell you what it does. Or you can go and look at some of the old, all about the bass shows where we looked at these bases and you'll see uh, in depth what the pickups and controls do. Um, but uh, yeah, that was, that was just me having a look at this beautiful thing. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. It's been all about the bass. Uh, I'll see you next time. Bye now.